hi everybody welcome to live blogger in this video i'll show you how to change the font of your blogger website so let's get started now this is my blogger website and this is how it looks and if you go to the blogger dashboard and if you go to theme here we can see that we are using this theme called contemporary light which comes by default with blogger now let's go ahead and change the font of this heading now for that the first thing you need to do is right click on the heading and go to inspect and then you have to see what is the tag that is used over here so here we can see inside the s3 we have this anchor tag and we have to check where the font is applied so we have to check the selector so if you go to the right side over here we can see we have all these selectors displayed over here but here for this selector post title a we have this font displayed over here so we need to change this font so for that what you have to do is you have to find this selector in the theme code so we have post title a so let's go back to our theme and uh, let's click on this arrow and click on edit html and now let's search for the selector so i'll just press command f if you are using windows you can just press ctrl f and you have the search input field over here so i'll just type post title a and then you can also type open curly braces and if i press enter here we can see the exact line of code where the font is added so this is basically the css of the theme and here we can see post title a and in that the font is added over here but here we can see that uh, this is a variable this is not the actual font so now the next thing we need to do is we have to find this variable and uh, we have to see the value of this variable so let's copy this term from here and uh, let's search once again and uh, i'll just paste it over here and let's press enter and let's search it and press enter once more and now here we can see we have this variable and we have the name of the variable displayed over here post stream title font and then here we have the description and the type but the main thing we need to do is change the value and also this default value so let's go ahead and change the font name so i'll just keep it to bold 30 pixels but i'll just change this font over here now we will use a font called poppins so let's type poppins over here and let's add the same value to this default so i'll just copy this from here now before doing all of this make sure to take a backup of the theme so just copy all this code from here and paste it somewhere so that you can revert it back to the default if something goes wrong so let's paste the same value over here and let's click on save and our theme has been saved so let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now we can see we have a different font so if you right click over here and go to inspect here we can see the font is set to poppins so in the same way you can go ahead and change the font of any other text we'll also change the color of this heading so for that here we can see we have this post title a and also post title a visited and the color is set over here so if we change this color for example if we change this to red we can see that the color of the heading is changing so let's search for this selector once more let's go back and let's press command f and i'll just type post title a and let's scroll down and here we can see we have this selector for the color and for the color also we have a variable so let's copy this variable from here and uh, let's search it let's search it once more and now here we can see we have this variable named posts title color and uh, we have the description and the type but the thing we are focused on is the default and the value so let's change the color and uh, this is the color we are choosing f72c25 let's paste the color over here as well and let's click on save and now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now we can see we have the color changed for the headings of all the posts so in the same way you can go ahead and change the fonts of all these elements over here so you can do the same for this post body so if i right click over here and go to inspect here we can see if you scroll down we have the font set to the post body class so we can just copy it from here and search for it in the theme code and just change the font over here so i'll just copy this and let's go back and uh, let's search for it over here 
and here we can see it has the color the font and all those things over here now you can directly change the font over here as well or even the color in place of this variable but if you go to the variable and change the value there then the changes will be added to all the places where the variable was present now for this one i'll just change the font over here so i just type rubik as the font and let's set it to sans serif and let's click on save and here we also need to add the font size so let's set it to 16 pixels let's save it once again right now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now we can see that the font has changed so if i use this uh, extension called what font and if i click over here we have the rubik font displayed over here and here we have the poppins font so that's how you can change the fonts of your blogger website now sometimes you may face some issues where the font doesn't change so right now the font is changing over here so if i right click over here and check out the font the font is rubik but sometimes what happens is that if you go back to the post so here in the post let me just open this post and what happens is that sometimes you forget to change the font to default over here inside the post so if you change this font to something other than default then whatever changes you make to the css will not be affected in the theme so if i just select all of this and change this font to let's try arial and if i update this and if i go back over here and refresh this page now we can see this is the arial font and if i right click over here and go to inspect here we can see that inside the paragraph we have a span and for the span we have this inline styles so even if you change the font in the css it will not be affected over here because these are inline styles so what you need to do is go back to your post and select all the content and change the font to default now if you update this and if you go back to your post and refresh this page now the font will be whatever you selected in the css right so that's basically how you can change the font and the font size and the font color in a blogger website all right so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day